What's up guys, Sal here. So for a very long time, people wanted better battery life and the Galaxy S9 could be the change you've been asking for. The company in an official statement confirmed that they are going to mass produce their in-house chips. These new processors are powered by 8 nanometer low power plus technology and as the name suggests, they are smaller than 10 nanometer chips while fills the gap before the 7 nanometer chips could be delivered in mass numbers. Samsung is making a big leap with their SOC and they're not going to let Qualcomm decide their future models. Instead, majority of the S9 smartphones will be powered by their own Exynos chips which are designed based on the 8 nanometer LPP process. A whole range of benefits are being associated for these new processors because they are smaller in size and occupy less area in the smartphone. The additional space provides designers more ways to integrate newer features in the S9 while keeping it slim and and sleek to look at. The chipset is also meticulously made to save battery life and consumes 10% less power than the outgoing 10 nanometer processor. Samsung is not completely going against Qualcomm as the company's senior vice president confirmed that they still have a friendly client relationship with the company. However, instead of relying on them solely for a new chipset, which sometimes hinders the production process, and at times they have to compete with LG among other competitors to get hold of the newest chipset. Chips, Exynos is being put in the front. Once the 8 nanometer processors are successfully established and used in the S9 models, Samsung will move on to 7 nanometer chips and will be primarily found in phones shipped later in 2019. Mass production of a completely new chipset takes a long time, as Samsung announced, and added that they are not going to delay the S9 at any cost due to lack of hardware peripherals available. Instead, they will use a mix of Qualcomm chips and Exynos processors that belong to the 8 nanometer category. Benjamin Geskin said that the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus will both feature 6GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. In addition, he also revealed the alleged official logos of the two devices which Samsung is expected to introduce early next year. He also said that the dual cameras on the S9 will be better than the Note 8. So that said, the Galaxy S9 will launch a month earlier than usual and I'm gonna cover each and every update regarding the device. So Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Okay.